Hi everyone and welcome to your tarot love messages. In today's reading, we'll take a look and see who is thinking about you, who's got you on their mind right now, okay? Um, this is going to be a general reading, guys. Please keep that in mind. It is not specifically intended for any one sign, so it's a collective tarot message here. But if you've clicked on this reading, there's obviously something here that's led you uh, to this particular reading. You've been guided here, you've been drawn here, you've been pulled here. Okay, so let's take a look and see who's got you on their mind, who's thinking about you. Chances are, if you've been thinking about someone lately, it's, um, or if you can't stop, you know, if you can't um, bring yourself to stop thinking about someone lately, it's very likely that the both of you have been thinking about each other, okay? It's very likely that there's someone there who's pulling on your energy. So let's take a look and see who it might be. So first and foremost with the hangman, notice how um, the halo is wrapped around um, the hangman's head. This is a reference to the sun and notice how it's, you know, um, his head that is being highlighted and illuminated here. So someone certainly has you on their mind. Someone certainly is thinking and has been thinking about you. And it's almost like it's on loop, okay? It's almost like their thoughts of you are going around and around in circles. Someone here is stuck on you, okay? They're stuck on you. They can't get you off their mind. I feel like what makes it worse is that they're trying to forget you. They're trying to not think about you. They're trying to stop themselves from thinking about you. And I feel like this is what's sort of making it worse for them, okay? So the more they, you know how, you know, um, resistance, um, wait, let me get this straight. Is it resistance breeds persistence or objection breeds, um, rejection breeds, obsession it's anyways it's that kind of energy okay so the more that they try to bring themselves to stop thinking about you the more they try to you know um, suppress their thoughts and their feelings about you the stronger those feelings um, become and the more intense they become so someone here is definitely um, I feel like they're thinking about you day and night okay so around the clock someone here is uh, in, like I said it's almost like it's on loop um, yeah I'm getting this whole loop thing so it's almost like either you and this person i feel like there's a stagnated energy especially with the hangman between you and this individual so even though they're thinking about you chances like chances are they may not necessarily be reaching out to you they may not be contacting you so just because you haven't heard from this person it doesn't mean that they've forgotten about you it doesn't mean that they're not thinking about you um that's not the case at all this is someone who is you know who can't get you off their mind Um, they're stuck though. It feels like this person doesn't know what to do. Okay. They don't know what to do with their feelings. They don't know what to do. Um, you know, how to reach out to you. They don't know what to say. Um, it also feels like this is someone who's hurt you. Okay. Swords are a weapon. Um, you know, they can be, uh, they can be used for both good and bad, but it does feel like this is someone who's hurt you. It does feel like even if you guys are apart, it's hurting them. Okay. This person is having a hard time without you. This person is having, um, a hard time being apart and away from you okay so definitely someone who is missing you someone who is it feels like they're trying to connect with you also okay because the eight of swords notice how you know she's surrounded here by the prison of swords right um you've got the water that pulls by her beneath underneath her feet now the water here is symbolic of intuition and i'll tell you why she's both blindfolded and she's bounded by um the wraps here okay um, so she's clearly she feels as if she's stuck in her situation. She is using her intuition. Okay, the water here that pools underneath her feet. She is using her intuition to get herself out of this predicament. Try and get herself out of this situation. So intuitively, you know who this is. You know who I'm talking about. Okay, and maybe this reading here is just confirmation. You've been thinking about them. They've been thinking about you, and round and round this cycle goes. So maybe this reading is confirmation. Maybe it's double confirmation for some of you. Maybe it's exactly what you needed to hear, or it's you know you needed to be um, assured of. But it does feel like intuitively, you know who I'm talking about. Okay, and. Even if you're not 100% sure, okay, and I don't want you to get mix, mixed up with, I don't want you to mix up your intuition with your ego, okay, those are two very separate things, so not, you know, not who you think 
or who you want it to be, okay, because that's your ego talking, that's your ego in the driver's seat right there, it's who, you know, it's who your intuition is telling you it might be, okay, so intuitively, whoever you feel, okay, you can feel the energy, you can certainly feel them pulling on your energy, even though they're pulling on your energy, it feels like this person is wanting for you to make a move, it feels like this isn't someone who's right? This isn't someone who's ready to make a move. This is someone who feels a little bit stuck. This is someone who's scared, okay? They feel like they can't reach out to you. They feel like access to you is being restricted or denied. They feel like maybe you guys just don't get on, like you guys just can't seem to make it work. Every time you guys talk, it ends up in this, you know, sort of situation. You end up hurting each other with the words and the, you know, um, the things that you say to one another so for some reason this person is scared they're fearful they're scared they're anxious of reaching out you may have someone else around you and they're scared that you know if you do reach out if they reach out you might reject them which might then lead to you know them experiencing rejection and pain so definitely a fear based kind of energy um this is someone who i feel like has done wrong by you has hurt you or has hurt the situation and i also feel like there's a little bit of ego involved here in the sense that this person even though they want to make things right with you they're scared okay and them being fearful is essentially the ego coming into play here so um someone wants to reach out to you someone wants to connect with you someone wants to apologize wants to make it right wants to work towards a resolution, a solution, um, wants to reconnect, revisit and restore a connection with you, but they're scared. They're scared because maybe they're, you know, they've hurt you too much or you guys keep hurting each other too much or it's just not healthy and it's not, you know, the, the situation is a little bit toxic. I don't know. There's something here that tells me this person is a little bit, you know, there's something here that's keeping them away. We can pull some more cards. Okay, just to see what, what's this, like, what are the Eight of Swords and the Ten of Swords all about? Because notice with Justice here, she's holding the sword upright, and this is the sword of truth. So, it feels like this person may be someone who has lied to you in the past, or someone who has recently lied to you, and they may have a truth of some sort they want to tell you, but they're so, so scared how you're going to react, okay? And that they're so scared that they may end up hurting you. It... I always feel like it, it circles back to them hurting you, okay? And even though this person loves you, they still end up hurting you. Now, not intentionally, okay? I don't think there's malice involved here in the energies. Um, but it does feel like this is someone who ends up unintentionally hurting you. And you guys end up hurting each other. I also feel like with the Eight of Swords, there's something you don't see about this person. Or there's something you don't see about this connection. Um... Okay, Seven of Swords. Just as I said, there's no malice. Look, there is, okay, this person is, has lied to you or has been deceptive with you. I also feel like this is, you know, deceit of oneself. I also feel like they're trying to delude themselves into thinking that they're, they're doing good without you. They're trying to, you know, trick themselves into thinking that they're better off without you. And sure, they can go out there and play the field and the grass is greener elsewhere and they can replace you, that sort of thing. Okay, this is their ego trying to comfort them. Um, but even if they get out there and they'll meet new people and, you know, meet new romantic connections, they will not be able to replace you. They will not be able to replace what they had with you. Deep down inside, they know that, but their ego is trying to tell them otherwise, okay? So just let them and their ego do their thing. They'll come around. But yes, this is someone who I feel like has lied to you. And look, given the multitude of the swords, I think you know, okay? I think maybe you've given this person the benefit of the doubt way too many times. You know, maybe they've taken advantage of your kind and naive nature. I don't know. For some reason... I get this really strong indication that they have been hurtful, okay, they've hurt you and hurt the relationship multiple times, okay, and I do think the signs were there, you kind of saw the signs, okay, I'm not trying to play, uh, roll the blame and leave it at anyone's doorstep here, but I feel like you kind of saw the red flags, you kind of saw the signs multiple times, but it's almost like you made excuses for this person, or you tried to give them the benefit of the doubt, and each and every time they kind of took advantage of that. Okay, this person does want to move forward. Okay, so after a period of stagnation, it's very likely that you will see you will see this person making some sort of big bold move, okay? Because this is the chariot's energy. This is good energy, and this denotes victory and success. So some sort of move that they'll be making towards you, 
um, is going to be a successful one is going to be one in the right direction. Because of the sphinxes and um, the fact that they're so polar opposite each other and there's such a contradiction and they sit out facing in the opposite directions, it tells me that right now you guys are a complete different paths. So if you have separated, and especially if this is the Ten of Swords situation, or if you're at, you know, the taily, sorry, the uh, pointy end of this connection, the tail end of this connection, it's very likely that you will go separate ways, okay? And I don't want to sugarcoat anything, and I know this might sound really blunt, but you might not potentially end up with this person. You might separate from this person, you'll disconnect from this individual, and that's just me being really, you know, honest with you. But it, I do think your paths are going to cross again, okay? In the future, your paths are going to cross again. It's just right now, there's just too much pain for this to go anywhere. There's way too much pain in the energies for this to even for this to work but i do see that in time i see that this person i feel like this person needs to work on themselves and i feel like they will reach out you will hear from them you will see them and they will make a move towards you you've got the four of sword um four of wands okay this is the reunion so just as i said your paths will cross again right now they're like a set of parallel lines okay running side by side very close to each other but not actually connecting not actually crossing but in the future the cards seem to strongly indicate that there will be a successful reunion remember how i said this person is going to make a move which one which will be successful one which will be in the right direction one which will move the relationship forward Right now, it's stuck, though. You are stuck on them. They're stuck on you. This this is, this is whole situation is stuck. It's can't get unglued. It's not going anywhere. You're thinking about them. They're thinking about you. They want you. You want them. You're on their mind. They're on your mind. But round and round it goes. It's not going anywhere, okay? So right now, it's going to stay like that for a little bit longer. How much longer, you ask? A couple of weeks, a couple of months. Hopefully not a couple of years for some, but hey... Let's not rule that out, okay? Time is non-linear, it's fluid, it's a social construct, it can be hard to sort of, you know, um, break down. But right now, it's this person needs to do a, a whole lot of thinking, not just about you, but I feel like they need to do a whole lot of reflecting about themselves and, the, you know, the, the, the role that they played in this disconnection, in this relationship, in this separation, you know, about perhaps the way that they've treated you, the way they've hurt you and hurt the relationship. Um, you know, I'm not saying that they're the devil here, um, and I'm not necessarily saying, you, you know, you're the angel or vice versa, because I think, you know, it takes two to tango, and you both played a role in this separation and this um, disconnection, right? But I think there's a lot of reflection that needs to happen on both parts, and until that reflection happens, there will be no successful movement okay this is why the, the disconnection the separation is really a blessing in disguise because the person that has you on their mind right now is thinking about you but what good is it that if they're thinking about you but you know if they haven't done any reflecting so what good is it them coming back but essentially not having changed not having grown not having learned you know still the same old person with this making the same old mistakes right i mean you're only going to go back to what you guys had okay you're only going to go back to this you know prison of swords this ten of swords situation you want to even though you want to come back together again you want to come back together uh, together have happier healthier people okay so give it time don't rush this okay you need to do some work on yourself they need to do some work on themselves um how will you know it's almost like i feel like i can read someone's mind how will you know when the time is right to connect how will you know when the time is right to um you know to reach out to try and make things work to give it another go um you will know okay you will know there will be it's almost like there will be no doubts no hesitations no reservations it'll feel natural okay so if you feel like you're kind of forcing a reunion or you're trying to you know force them to get them to see your um your point of view and vice versa it's not ready it's not happening just yet okay but if it's starting to flow natural and, and this is an ease to it that's when the timing is right okay and don't worry destiny okay destiny has it all figured out so don't stress okay guys thanks so much for your time your energy your attention um please show your support by liking sharing and subscribing to this channel bye